going on, everybody? It is in here with Miller Garage. Today we are back out in the motorcycle hauler airstream, and we are going to be working on insulation. In general, when it comes to airstreams, we tend to err on the side of keeping it simple. Very easy to spend a lot of time and a lot of money trying to insulate something and only really gaining like maybe a half to one R value gain in, in you know thermal efficiency. And so to be honest, we, we really try to keep it simple. We use effective insulation that fills all the space and we don't overthink it. With this particular trailer though, I wanted to try something new and a little bit different. And what we're actually gonna be doing is testing out this product called Lizard Skin. It is a ceramic insulation coating. So it's similar to like what is put on roofs of RVs, but this stuff is designed to be used in like cars and hot rods. It's used a lot of times on the firewall. The whole objective is to prevent heat from coming through as insulation does. Welcome back, Captain Obvious. Now with this stuff, uh, one of the other benefits is that it actually is a sealant as well. So whenever we're putting this membrane on the entire inside of the trailer, it's going to be sealing all of the seams and everything in addition to insulating. This is not the only insulation we're doing. We are still gonna be putting rock wool in this trailer. But we're going to first put the lizard skin insulation uh, on all the inside of the, the whole shell. Now, they claim that this product can reduce the interior temperature by 15 degrees. And I'm, I'm pretty skeptical, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> now, what I'm thinking is that that's probably, they may have measured, you know, like a, like a firewall situation where you have an engine running on the other side and then an interior compartment. And I could see in that application, you know, it having that much efficiency because you have just such a massive temperature difference. But with it with the Airstream, I just I don't I'm not really expecting quite that extreme of a difference. We are going to test it. So we're going to apply it and then we're going to test uh, two trailers side by side, same day, exact same conditions, one with a lizard skin and then one with just bare aluminum and see what the temperature difference is there. Because, you know, I am curious to know how big of a, of a difference, if at all, it makes. I, I do believe it is going to help some. I don't think it's going to be just massive, but it also is going to be sealing the inside of the shell. So that's really important. So with this, we're going to be doing uh, using their sprayer for the spray application. And that's really the, the kind of the best and only way to do it. They, they don't recommend brushing it on except for maybe little touch ups and they don't really recommend rolling it. So that pretty much just leaves you with, with spraying it on. So uh, that's the route we're going. I think I got like eight gallons of it. I don't know exactly how much it's gonna take. Hopefully that will be enough. The stuff is relatively expensive. I think it's about like $250 for two gallons. So um, you can do the math and it's, yeah, it, it adds up. But if it, if it performs well, awesome. If not, it's still gonna be sealing the trailer. Like I said, I do believe it's gonna do something, so. All right, well, we got it all taped off, so I'm gonna get set up and I'm gonna start spraying it and seeing how it goes on and figuring this all out. Ooh. Put on the monkey suit. Because if I accidentally spray myself, then I will turn into a lizard, apparently. Okay. I was secretly hoping it would be green, but it's it's white, so it's pretty thick. Jeez, is that gonna spray? The little spray kit, it comes with a mixing device, so that's handy. You just put it on the drill. Lower speed, you don't want it to fly all over you. Just pour it in. It's so thick. Jeez. Let's put the spray out of here, allegedly. My beard. Born digging through the trash again. Here he goes now. Literally nothing. Uh, I'm gonna go. 
get the manual and double check everything. Okay, hold on. There is some adjustment in the ear tip. I should have read this a little bit closer. <laughs> Use you. So unladylike. <laughs> the level of maturity here is staggering. Second to none. <laughs> okay, so apparently this nozzle here. Okay, so tightening the nozzle will reduce the flow. Loosening will increase. So I'm assuming that we need to increase the flow because nothing was coming out. Yeah. Let's put this back on and we're gonna go and mess with it. See if we can't figure it out. Take a minute. We did get it. It is, it is applying, and it seems to be going up pretty good. From what I understand, it's probably gonna take two coats. Yeah, it's gonna require a lot of this stuff, but it looks like it's sticking well with aluminum. You just need to clean it and uh, rough it up a little bit. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep rocking and rolling on this. This will probably take me a couple hours to spray, honestly. Just keep at it, and hopefully not pass out in here. So we wanted to wait until it was blazing hot to test out uh, how effective the lizard skin is. So we are in uh, a different trailer, and this one, as you can tell, the interior skins, all the insulation is out. And we're gonna uh, get a reading from this one. This is sitting in direct sun. It is about two o'clock in the afternoon, and it is close to 104 today. So very hot. Um, one of the things, we put this piece of tape here because um, with aluminum, especially reflective aluminum, for whatever reason, like it, it's all over the place. Um, we're getting really weird readings. I think it's because of the laser um, on here. I mean, we got some up to, I mean, it's staying up to like 180, 120. It really depends on what you're hitting, 150, 160. So um, it doesn't seem to be super accurate with that. If I put it, if I shoot it at like a, just polished piece. I just did it out here. There's these rock guards that we're polishing, and I hit the plastic part, and it was reading about 150. And then I hit the polished part, and it was reading 60 degrees, which is obviously not the case. So uh, that's why I have this little piece of tape here. And right now, like this is very hot. Like you can hardly touch it. Um, so we're gonna see. This is sitting at about 100 and 44 degrees so this is probably where that's at and honestly like the tape is cooler than the aluminum so there is a, a radiant or a, yeah radiant energy heat uh, barrier even in that tape so you know we could even account for another five degrees in that but we're gonna go into the lizard skin trailer and see um, what that one is reading so now we are in the trailer that has the lizard skin coating on it, and just um, just from feel, I can put my hand on it, and I mean it's warm, but uh, you know with the other trailer I it, I couldn't hold it on there for more than a few seconds. Um, so we're gonna do basically the same spot, and we're coming in at 131. So that is like almost 15 degrees cooler uh, of a surface temperature difference which is that's not not nothing so it's pretty significant now the I think the big benefit of this as well is the fact that it is blocking that conductive radiant heat so with the aluminum um, like let's say 
you know, you have your skins then attached, or you have a material here, there's that, like metal is a conductor, and heat is one thing that it conducts very well in addition to electricity. So it is conducting that heat into anything that is touching it. So if you have this, this membrane on here that is preventing that conductive radiant heat from getting in and, and even it's going to lower the temperature of the insulation which is going to help it work better and in the same way it's also going to prevent like normally if you if you feel the ribs inside a trailer they'll they're warm too and then if you just put aluminum directly onto that then a lot of times in trailers like you can touch the aluminum and it's hot as well so this is going to prevent that heat from coming through uh, nearly as much. Uh, I think this is really, uh, honestly, like a really great thing to do. Um, it's definitely not not inexpensive. This stuff is about two hundred and fifty dollars for two gallons, I believe. And we did, I think we did ten gallons in this, so you know, it's close to a thousand dollars just for these, just for the paint, just for the, that. So it's definitely uh, pricey, but with you know. Comfort is important as well as keeping leaks out and this is really achieving both of those things so you know it's pretty cool. I, if I was building a trailer I would do it for sure. Okay well it is toasty, um, the sun is beaming in, this one is definitely more comfortable than the other one but I want to get back into the shop where there is a portable fan blowing slightly cooler air. Thank you all so much for watching, um, just so you know this is something that we are offering if you are either having us do your build or just want to bring it to us for this. So don't forget to like this video, comment below, subscribe to our channel, and also follow us on Instagram. We got stuff going on there as well. And we will see you next time.